all I need in life uh, is someone just to go, come on, let's do it. Mm. And, and once we've done that, uh, others follow. Good morning and welcome back to the Engineering YouTube channel and podcast. And I'm here at uh, Bista Heritage and it's a pretty murky day, but what a turnout. It's, um, it's just after 10, so there was a little introduction and a chat between uh, Chris Harris and Richard Tuthill with his new impact bumper car. Um, I didn't get so many people here, they didn't get a chance to have a proper look around, but I will, I'll have a look around in a minute. In terms of the rest of the car park, the rest of the, it's pretty much one of those uh, car park events as opposed to uh, walking normally with Bista Heritage you'd be able to walk around the entire site and there'd be all sorts of interesting bits and pieces across the site. Today is not one of those days, today is pretty much limited to the sort of the local area um, and then it's the fields. Um, it's the, the, what's nice is there's a whole Porsche section, kind of the, the, I'll show you in a sec, I'll do some walking around and I'll pick some cars. I've already done a bit of a walk around already but we'll go around again and I'll just pick the ones I thought were the best. Um, stick some music over the top of it, you know the drill. Um, but yeah, it's been it's, it's a good day. It's, it was a nice, easy drive down. If you're worried about coming to Bissa Heritage, today wasn't one of those days where it was too bad to get in. You just drove straight in, so nice and easy. Um, stuff I'm particularly interested in, yeah, all the usual bits and pieces. There's some really nice resto mods, and that's kind of the theme for this, is what makes a good resto mod. So we're going to talk into a few people. Um, and at that point, I'll hand over to this guy and we'll talk to him about what makes his car a good resto mod. My champion from Mike Champion Engineering. Um, this is the chap when I was doing my intro a second ago that completely nuked the audio. So thanks very much, Mike. Um, when I walked over to this car, I thought this was a, uh, a resto mod, right? And that's kind of primarily what I'm here to talk about today is resto mods. It's not a resto mod, this is a legit Correct. race car. 1974 FIA homologated race car. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So how, how did you come across this? How, how, did, how did you end up with this car? I'm yeah. guessing you weren't the first owner of this car and uh, it's been through a few hands. No, no, so I took this car on as a project. Yeah. Um, it's always been a race car. Um, it was raced as a 2.7 RS in okay. Europe. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, and about, in these, in, in orange, was it? Um, was it? Yes, it, yeah, in, in orange, um, not with the full livery. Yeah. Um, but it was crying out to be. In it it needed a livery yeah. car, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, so I took it on as a, an ongoing project um, for conversion to 1974 right. RSR spec. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, that car is far too special and deserves its own Your Porsche Stories episode. So we'll pick that back up another time. But let's do a quick car park walk around. If you haven't so far, please do like and subscribe. That really makes a huge difference. But here's a walk around of the car park before we get into a conversation with Mr. Richard Tuthill.
Mr. Richard Tuthill. Hello. Hello, good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Uh, welcome to Reengineering. Um, right, let's talk me through these amazing things. I mean, so these are uh, 993 based, is that right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. talk me through how did it come about? How did the project come about? Uh, I have wanted to, so I really like a 993. Yeah. Um, comfort, AC, six speed box, uh, good MVH, cool car. Cool car. Downside, uh, they're a little bit steady, they're, they're, they're quite, um, dull's the wrong word, Okay. the, sta the standard ones, I mean the, the RS and the RS Club are perhaps the most staggering cars Porsche ever made, so I'm a big right. fan. Okay. Um, so uh, that's, that's a great base, mm -hmm. so we then thought, well okay, let's, um, we like early cars, uh, let's, let's make them make them look earlier. Okay. And we went for a 1984 SCRS look, yep. which the reason we did that was because that's where our company started working with Porsche, yeah. Porsches and rallying. Yeah, okay. So, you know, everyone needs a, a little story here and there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But we're not hiding the fact it's 993. Right. So, yes, we're backdating a 993, but what we're, we're not trying to kid anyone. Mm. Um, so, so we've uh, upgraded the engine to 3.8. It's got a, uh, a little um, air box which is uh, the same shape and size as a 1984 SC, oh, okay. CRS. Uh, smaller wheels, different brake package, just to make the car feel a bit more lively, mm -hmm. move a little bit more. Um, we've developed our own dampers um, to accommodate the wheels uh, and the brakes and, and, and the changes of that. Um, that demand mm -hmm. and then on the interior again we've just had a little play so haven't you and um, I, I've got to be honest both the interiors I'm, I'm a details guy so I look at things like door hinges I look at the you know the stitching how nicely balanced the stitching is and oh well I think unreal I'm a big, big fan of this and don't tell Edward but that one's a little bit too black in fact he's just sat in it for the first time and we're gonna do some changes okay um, but, uh, but this, this is this is me all over. I think this, this is really cool. Yeah, and really cool. Again, quite simple. This one has got um, no rear seats, uh, like the 3-2 Club Sport. Mm -hmm. uh, look, let's not take it too seriously. It's just a cool thing. It is cool. Uh, and the, the idea is we can do 500 kilometers a day in it and um, not really realize it. Yeah. So like a balance between dynamicism of the car and, and giving it a sharper edge over a 993, but also a package you can live with and you can enjoy and yeah, I mean, use on road trips and Cote d'Azur on a beautiful Sunday. There you go, I want to go from here to the south of France. That's, right. what, I, that's what I said. Um, uh, don't forget 993 had 14 years of development. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be wrong, something like that. Something like that, yeah. A long, long time of development. So of course it was the best air-cooled car they made in that respect, the most refined. Mm. Um, and I just wanted a little bit more of an early feel. Um, and I really, really like the body shape. And um, not everyone does, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, yeah of course. You know, we, we are allowed to like different things. Of course, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's been a fascinating journey seeing some of the other cars and then coming into this. There's a stark difference between some of the earlier developed cars, which were pretty true to a, an older generation of vehicle. And this is, you can see both elements of the early stuff and the 99. I love it. I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm smitten, so. I'm, I'm committed. Um, yeah, no, clearly. Okay, we, we, we've just, um, just launched the 911K in Montreux last week. It's yeah. 850 kilo, 11,000 RPM. Oh, car. Don't, I, um, I, I, we I probably um, need to see that at one point in life. No life. kidding, yes. Uh, this couldn't be more opposite. So yeah. uh, clearly, everyone needs one of each. Of course. Um, because of course. Then, then you don't need another then, car. then you you don't need anything yeah, else, yeah. right? You are yeah, all ticks done. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, what's next for, for Tut Hill? Uh, where are you I don't next? know. There is no strategy. No. Um, we turn up every morning with an amazing bunch of people. There's a, I think there's about 80 people turn up every day. Wow. Um, we're just finishing a, another building uh, to accommodate. We're moving all the motorsport um, team from the existing building to the new building mm -hmm. to make room to, to build um, some lovely road cars. We've got 20. I think we'll be running 20 cars in the Safari Rally next year. That's a lot of work. It's just it's, it's an immense um, amount of work. Isn't so it? it just just carries on, but there's no. There's no big 
master you, stuff. Yeah, is wake up with a dream one day and yeah, start no, I, following I, I, it. This, I've been actually trying to do this for five years and actually um, Ed and uh, his friend and now my friend uh, Jason, they're like, come on, we'll, we'll, we'll have the first couple of cars and all I need in life uh, is someone just to go, come on, let's do it. Mm. And, and once we've done that, uh, others follow. Exactly. And that's, that's what happens in everything we do. So um, we, we don't try too hard, we just crack on. Just and let it, the osmosis and the, the natural flow. Yeah, of, we've, uh, we've been here a while. And yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. We're slowing down, so we can't be that far. Probably doing anything too wrong. Yeah. Brilliant. Look, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I'm, you're a hard man to pin down, and I'm very glad to have got a couple of minutes with you. Thank you so much for uh, pleasure. Richard. And, um, uh, can you come and visit us? I absolutely, yeah, please. The yeah, uh, 11,000 RPM, I'm, I'm in all day long. Yeah, so well, I just, well, I do need one of each. Everyone does. Everyone does. Thank you <laughs> nice so much. Take care. Cheers. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.